South African referee Victor Gomez gets the match underway with Equatorial Guinea playing in red and Senegal playing in that uh, dark green. Not just 29 years of age, it's been a long stint playing in the West Country in England for Bristol City. Four years, in fact. Bit of a hero. His uh, Ivan Edu puts it on his left foot. There's the shot. Tries to wrap that left foot around the ball and get his thunderbolts heading towards Mendy. And this is the. He's such a dangerous player. A wonderful skill set, and he just. He's a tricky player to mark. Basically, this is a chance. It's a. Kind of gay with a shot. Oh, that's gone wide, but. Uh, Nicely fired in, and uh, you're just gonna test the goalkeeper. And the wall was blocking Jesus Suono's way. Lofted over about a meter and a half wide of the target, but the danger is there, the PSG midfielder. But now we're into the business end of this competition, and uh, by the end of tonight, we'll know. That's a beautiful through ball. Oh, it's in the back of the net. Of course it is. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's the front man. It's the, the deadly centre forward from Anya Sport. Famara Diadu slots the ball past Orono, the goalkeeper. Oh, he raced onto that. And the finish was just so slick. And the Senegalese fans are just making lots of noise. You've got to dance and you've got to celebrate this. A magical moment for Alio Cisse's men. Let's just have a look at this again. Salio Cisse down there, just cuts the ball into Mane. Look what Mane does. He just, well, just dissects that defence with a beautiful slick pass. And the first time shot near post, Oroto really didn't have a chance. It was hit with so much velocity. It just a, a very acute angle, but how about that for a strike from the, the Turkey-based player? Well, he's celebrating that. That's his first goal in Cameroon in this competition. And, uh, well, it comes at a very good time. 21 matches played for the Lions of Tiranga and 10 goals scored now. He is possibly going to be the, the hero well, to Miranda. Change of flags is uh, not too many options, not too much movement off the ball. Something that he needs to work on. They do have those players who are capable of sneaking past defenders, but like Miranda here, doing really well, gets uh, knocked off his feet by the Villarreal winger, Dia. And it's going to be a free kick. Good acceleration there, and a chance as they push forward. Equatorial Guinea has been teed out. That's a really good ball. It's the shot gone in. It's gone in. They found the back of the net. Look at that, and it's fair and square. We don't have to go to a penalty. VAR. No, no, no. They've got their goal. They found it. It's the front man. It's Yannick Boyla. Boyla. He scored the goal. The equaliser. Remarkable scenario here, and Juan Misha's men find themselves with an equaliser in this quarter-final showdown here at the Amadou Ahijo Stadium in Yaoundé. There he is. Yannick Aboyala doing the business. Let's have a look at this again. That squared ball was just a delight to the eye. The ball comes straight to Gannett. Gannett straight to uh, immediately to Aboyala. And look at that first touch. Touches it with the left, drives it in with the right, past Edouard Mendy. That is clinical, that is sublime. That comes straight out of Equatorial Guinea. Bounassar on the other side, the Bayern Munich man. Esteban racing over to try and stop the short one. It comes to the front post, it comes off the chest of uh, Emilio Nsue. Another header this, this time. There's a big header into the penalty box. Anybody there? It's been flicked past.
past the goalkeeper. It's easy, isn't it? Teku Koyate, he's only just come on. Look at that. And that is a very important goal for Senegal. And look at the tactical change from Alio Cisse. He looks across, knowing that this man has made a difference already. Koyate finding the back of the net, having barely been on the pitch for two minutes, is really just a, a work of magic. Alio Cisse has really sorted things out. Let's have a look at this again. Well, he's just waiting, waiting for it to come back in. Not being marked, he's left on his own. And look at that, he gets behind the two defenders. It's a poor clearance. And all he needs to do is just sneak in. And there's the little touch, the outside of the right boot. Look at that, the communication there between the two defenders. Carlos Acapo Salcoco was, was just non-existent. If it had been, they would have cleared that. But they also need the goalkeeper to make the call of Ono. And that has just allowed Coyate to come in. And there's your goal. There's your goal. Needs to try and find the back of the net for Equatorial Guinea. I imagine he's going to replace Emilio Nsue, who just uh, unable to do anything more than put pressure on the... His experience is good, but... He's just lacking that extra yard, that extra acceleration. Great chance for Senegal, they're pulling the ball back, it's in the back of the net, it's easy! Oh, look at that, it is that man as Melisar, the double substitution, and the players who have come on have provided the fireworks tonight, and Senegal are just putting themselves a little bit closer towards that semi-final, that semi-final with Burkina Faso. Ismail Assar, the Watford man, in the right place at the right time. It's all very slick, but the work down the left side was just, well, sensational. Let's just have a look at this again. First of all, the defence, where were they? And Sadio Mane's ball directly into the path of Saar was just brilliant. And that's what he does so well, just getting behind the defence. It's just top-notch, it really is. Salio Cis working his magic. And check, and his Melisar just f finishing it off. You can just give them a lot of credit, Senegal, because when they turn it on, they turn it on.